This is something that I saw in my field guides growing up and I've always wanted to see it. And this is the first one that I've ever seen. I'm gonna be hanging out with my parents for the next few days here. Dad had a flat tire this morning. So this RV, it's got everything. Pumping up his own tire. And when that's filled up, we're gonna be going with this guy, Bruce over here, and Michelle, whose rig is a few spaces down there. And we're going out there into the desert to do what we always do. Well, first time for a few of them, but you guys have been here with me before. Out into the desert to look for bugs. We're not in Oregon anymore. I need to put my sunblock on. It's gonna be a hot one. It's mid-February and probably gonna be 75 degrees today. And I'm looking forward to this. Let's go for a ride. Hey, you go. Hey, what's uh, green? And, uh, what's green? And, what's green that lives in the desert? Green that nothing, because this is the desert. It's up there by the cash register. It's a ballpoint. Cactus. That wasn't much of a stop. Was that a California stop? You told me not to stop. <laughs> Was that the border? Are we in California now? Yeah. Pit stop. First chance I've had to get out here and look for bugs. And I just had a green lace wing land on my arm. Looks like there's some bees flying around on this creosote bush. I've talked in prior videos about how the thistle-down velvet ants, white velvet ants, mimic the seeds from the seed pods here, from the creosote plant. And I'm not usually down in the desert in Arizona, in Eastern California this time of year, but now we can see the flowers and those thistle down like seed pods and the honeybee here finally got it in focus see it feeding there see that one there carrying off of straw it looks like and it's just a cool little plant looks like it's going to flower here soon maybe we are a few weeks early from seeing lots of flowers out here I don't know when the desert blooms we're just outside of Yuma right now some more buds on things has opened. I really like plants. If I wasn't a bug guy, I would be a plant guy. I found an intaglio. <laughs> I only know that word from watching the video on your channel. Here, what do you think? Huh? I think it's gonna run back further down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that feels like something soft. Is it moving? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bruce. 
check this out right here. Got your real scorpions. You gonna eat any of this? You gonna eat any of this? No. No? I've actually had some of the cookies before. Alright. We'll do I think we'll do some larvets together later. Maybe maybe I should get a bunch of beer for you first. Are we ready? Often a good way to get help from people in identifying ants when you find a mound like this. Different types will build different kinds of mounds or entrances to their colonies. Maybe somebody can tell us what these are. Just outside of Yuma, just over the California border. See the dip, Mom? backwards when you're going uphill. Big, big finish? Uh, big finish? Big finish. Yeah. What about what about the hands? What do they call those? the only reason I watch. There's the border wall. Just goes on forever. One of the guys that told us we couldn't come any closer said that it's concrete at the base of it goes down eight feet there's no digging under it either got an ant hill here they're not going to pay any attention to that wall what constitutes a road. <laughs> Does that fall into your definition of what a road looks like? Looks like it'd be fun to try. <laughs> get to it. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. What do you do? Take a running start? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's just go over here. We can push ourselves off. See how this is. There's a guy over there looking at us. Yep. Huh? Yep. We're looking at him. See, what there used to be was this these uh, uh, things like that, where you couldn't drive through. Mm -hmm. Man, they are built a big, beautiful wall. Look at that. I think I heard 450 miles of it had been built. Wow. That's a serious wall. Let's go talk to that guy up there. See, there's a road right here. Ask him if we can go up that way. Because that might that looks like the place we want to go. Uh, 
bunch of termites down here under this rock. <laughs> Did you see the Border Patrol stop over there? No. I bet he looked at us with his binoculars. Right. And then I held up my butterfly net and waved. <laughs> <laughs> And he took off. So I don't want none of that. Uh, Very handy little vehicle for going off road. Guess he's coming to pick me up. Let's see if he found gold. So, lots and lots of these on the wing here this evening. Nice translucence there to the abdomen. A couple spots on the wings. Anybody know what these are? Give you a size reference here. Here's a good sized colony of ants. Wonder if these are the ones that I'm seeing the reproductives swarm around in. You can see their midden pile here. Everything that they've excavated, used materials here. Plant matter out there around the nest and then the size of the ants there. Have fun. Ants found springtails. What are, what Spring, are those? Teeny teeny tiny little white bugs here. Oh god. I thought they were springtails. Yeah, I think those are springtails.
<laughs> cool. Right there. One of the things we were looking for today. Really? Did I get a jar? Yep, that's one of those beetles I was telling you about that we were looking on them for. Yeah. That's one of them right there. Now, it's a blister beetle. Oh, well, sure enough. I'm not sure if they, uh, this species here will cause blisters on the skin, but that's one of them. I'm so happy to see that. This is one of the things we were looking for all day long. And there it is. First creosote I walked up to at night. Well, let's just catch some more of them. Right there waiting for me. This is something that I saw in my field guides growing up, and I've always wanted to see it. And this is the first one that I've ever seen. And I knew that they were out this time of year and that we were going to be in the right place. And I didn't think that we were going to find it. There it is. That's a really awesome find. Let's see if there's more around. Oh, here's another one right here. And this one, we can document that it's feeding on that berry. In fact, you can see some damage to the plant there, right there on that creosote flower. I think your light's just a little too bright. Ah. There, that's much better. And so it's been nibbling there at the flower bud. Awesome. Well, nighttime is the time to see them. I don't know if they were hiding away during the day or if they're just a lot easier to see at night. That's often the case. Are you collecting them? It's another thing that I'm seeing in here. There are some little black tenebs. See it right there. Pretty small. I'd say it's about nine millimeters. There's my fingertip. See its antennae pop out there. Cute little things, and they seem fairly abundant here on the creosote bush. Now this creosote, you can see it's secreting. It's kind of watery looking. There's a sort of a sticky looking liquid over it. <laughs> Flew right into the light of the camera. There's a lot of moths here. Hitting me in the mouth. Drinking at the flowers. Well, I have just made a really interesting discovery. Right down there at the base of this creosote. I was looking for some scorpions with my black light. And as it turns out, the beetles we were looking at a few moments ago, they fluoresce very brightly. I don't know if I can get that mating pair here with my net or not. Let's try this. Oh, popped them back the wrong direction. So let's go at this a different way here. Come here, you two. Breeding pair. Hey, Dad, come here. 
Got something cool to show you. I found a mating pair. Together? Yep. Two for one? Twofer. Hold this for me for a second without the light. This is how I found them. Do they fluoresce? They fluoresce. Oh, no kidding. They fluoresce, Bruce. It's a mating pair. I keep moving up into the light. Oh, wow. Here, let me... Oh, let me, no, I let see. Me put, there it is. Let me put my black light on it. Here. That's awesome. So the male is considerably smaller than the female. Will you turn the male towards the camera here just a little bit? Awesome. They fluoresce. That bug just got 10 times cooler. What'd you got? First one of the night. What's jumping around there? Something he wants to eat. Not really. Where does he go? He's still there. Slender claws. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.